All right. Hey, gang, we've got an amazing chiropractor here. Want to share her story of her success, Dr. Ashley Emmel from Columbia, Missouri. So welcome, Dr. Ashley. Thanks for having me. Thanks for taking the time to do this. So you have had some amazing success in the last couple of years of working with me. And so I just kind of want to allow you to share that with the audience. So first off, can you kind of explain uh, your practice? You know, like, like what kind of practice do you have so they, they can relate? Sure. So I have more of a family practice. Um, we see lots of children, lots of women. Um, we see lots of men, of course, too. And But a, a big niche of our practice is pelvic floor for women going through things that they maybe experience um, before conception, prenatal, postnatal, all those good things. And then we see a lot of babies with tethered tissues as well. Awesome. Good. That's, that's pretty diverse. What kind of services or modalities do you have in your practice? Sure. So we have um, decompression therapy. We do intersegmental traction. We provide specific exercises for each patient when they're starving, especially pelvic floor. So that's something that we go through, um, massage, acupuncture, and then we have a really heavy nutrition side of our practice as well. Awesome. Great, great. And then how many docs? Two docs, myself and an associate. Yeah. Okay, good. And how, how many staff? We have three support staff and a massage therapist, and then a lactation consultant as well. So seven of us total. Okay, awesome. So you got a good solid team there that you built. Yeah, we do. So I've I've shared this story with um, chiropractors before, but I mean it took me 14 years in my career to get to that Mundar mark. I know you've been in practice how long? This is going into our 10th year. 10th year? Okay. So yeah, so so much faster than than I hit it, but but also I mean it it, it really is amazing what you've done. So yeah. you know, I, I want to kind of applaud you. Uh, you, you <laughs> earned, you've earned it. You worked so hard. You're, you're so quick to implement all the ideas and strategies and plans that we put in place together. So I'm not surprised one bit that you've hit this so fast. Thank you. So um, if you could share with us so now, probably the people watching this are thinking, how did that happen? How can, how can I get there? What are some key things that you, know, you can share where hopefully they can get on the fast track to their dream practice as well? So what would you say are the key things that really allowed you to have the success so quickly? Sure. So and we've talked about this before, too, when we talk about it in the Facebook group. But the number one thing that I did was I listened to what you said. So as soon as I was given a task or an assignment, I implemented it right away. I didn't sit on it. I said, OK, we're going to do it this week. So my team was always happy with me. They love when I have a new idea from John. <laughs> we're going to do this this week. But honestly, that's what drove our success as we things that were given to us, um, homework assignments, strategies we implement right away. I think the other big thing is just, I was seeing before, you know, I knew we had the potential to be at a million dollar practice or more, but I wasn't just quite sure those steps to getting there. So the organization having different departments broken out, different projects actually written out. And I'm really big about writing it down. So every week when I work with John, I have a notebook and I write everything down. And then I have a to-do list for the week that I'm writing it down and checking it off as I go that I implemented it. So really just listening and following um, the things that are in the program, because that's what's going to make you successful. There's there's no trick of it. It's just literally following the program. You're right. And, and that's, a, that's a good point. There's really no trick to it. There's no like one thing. There's no magic bullet because that's that's the thing that gets talked about a lot in chiropractic. It's like, hey, what's that one thing? Well, it, it's not one thing. It's yeah. It's a combination of many things. Um, mm -hmm. So you, you've worked hard on your marketing, you've worked hard, hard on your operations department with your front office, uh, you've worked hard at team building, you've, mm -hmm. you've done a lot of leadership stuff to really lead your team, and the, the accounting financing, I mean, you've got, I mean you, you've got an MBA degree, so you've got the accounting and finance down. So yeah, I mean, you've, you've had a, a multifaceted approach, and, and that's why this, this has worked, because you, you know that it's not just, just one thing. And the speed of your implementation has been key. I agree. So whenever we talk about things, when we, when we would talk the next time, those items were done, right? You weren't sitting on it. You actually completed assignments and tasks right away. And you were always hungry and waiting for more. You're always asking, okay, what's 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 next? All right, what's, what's the next thing we, we got to do? Okay. And uh, we, we would tackle it you know, at, at an amazing speed. So uh, I agree. Your implementation speed has been key. And any chiropractors you know, that are listening and, and want to have fast success. It's just all about really just kind of putting the time, the effort, the energy you have to put in your business development time every week, and you have to apply things, right? And you've always been comfortable always at least trying something, 
Right. right. And there's times I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. And I might come back and say that didn't work for us. But, you know, going back, you know, there's not one thing. I will say my team was a big part of this too. It wasn't just me. It was, I had the right people in place to implement, which John and I worked really hard on that of making sure the right people join our team and are part of that. And we just haven't really had turnover. Everybody, gosh, knock on wood, that it's been with us, has been with us long term. And as we grow that, um, we're just implementing those right people. So our team has made all the difference as well. I cannot have done it by myself. Awesome. Yeah. You've built a great team. Okay. So um, what what's next? I know that you haven't even hit your potential. I know you, you've got a high, way higher ceiling and we're talking about what you're doing next. But if you don't mind sharing a little bit of about what you're planning next for yourself and your practice? I feel like we have our systems really in place now. So our next big height is really just growing to be able to help more people. Um, Everything should be easy at this point of our our systems and the way we do things and new patient visits and all of that, it's in place. So next for us is just that, that continued growth and maybe adding another doc onto our team this year to help with that growth, maybe an additional um, teammate up front. But that's where we're at is just, helping more people continue to grow. We're not going to stop here. We're just getting started, I feel like. Right. And then can I share one more uh, amazing fact about your practice, sure. about, about the, the size of your, your space? Oh, sure. Yeah. It's small. It's a small <laughs> space. Um, it's right at 1,400 square feet. It's very small. So we have two adjusting rooms, um, a very small shared office for me and Doc Jen, a massage room, an acupuncture room with laser, and then an open therapy bay and a very small front desk and waiting area. So everything has to really be on time and target um, so it doesn't get crowded. We have, I think, five waiting room chairs. It's, it's a very small space. Yeah. So it's, it's possible to have a great practice and, you know, have, you know, big numbers, great collections with the small space, right? Mm-hmm. So you don't have to have a big grand space to actually serve a lot of people in your community and get, get paid well for it. So, so amazing uh, facts about your practice. And I, I think, you know, future plans is probably bigger space, which then is, is going to really allow you to, I think, um, grow to pretty amazing levels. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, and that, and that's the goal is a bigger space at some point, be able to help more people, um, help more patients, more of those people we're already reaching out to just a little more room to do it. Okay. Well, um, thank you so much for taking time to share your success story. I, I really hope that this helps to inspire other doctors that, you know, dream practice levels are possible. If you just put in the time and work, And um, thank you so much. And I'm excited to work with you this year and help you reach your next set of goals. Thank you. It couldn't have happened without you. Awesome. All right. Thanks, doctor. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.